good? Okay. Hey, this is your boy PDB, and today we're in Photoshop. We're going to clean up a comic book scan. Now here, here's an example, an example of one that I already cleaned. Let me get in here. This is what it looked like originally, the raw scan, and that's what my clean version looks like, straightened up a little bit too. So you can definitely see it's much cleaner. So, how do we get it from looking like that to looking like that? That's what we're going to do today. Let's get into it. Now, we're going to do what I like to call the pre-clean. We want to get rid of all the paper tint and the scan. Now, this particular page has nice panel borders, panel lines around the panels. So I like to take my magic wand tool, tolerance of 50, anti-alias check, contiguous check. I'm going to select in the margin area. And make sure that nothing inside the panels got selected. It looks good. I'm going to go to levels. I'm just going to pull this highlight slider and just make it nice and white there. I'm going to hit this schmutz with an eraser while I'm here. Now what I want to do is I want to get rid of the paper tint and the rest of this scan. How am I going to do that? With my levels. And I'm going to work with the channels. So what I need to do is my colors. Here's my levels. Oh, I forgot. First thing I got to do is change from RGB to CMYK. Now I open up my levels. And I'm going to sample the paper tint in this balloon. Mm-hmm. And you can see the values here. Cyan 2, magenta 20, yellow 31, black 0. Changes depending on where you sample it. But let's just start here. I'm going to start my levels. Start with my magenta. And I want to see this thing move. I'm going to hit this, the slider until it goes from 22 to 0. Now the yellow channel. Is that 34? Bring it to zero. Zero. Okay. Now there's still a lot of schmutz in here. I'm going to hit that magenta a little more. And I'm just going to hit the whole CMYK just a little bit, brighten it up a little more. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, now I opened up a different page that I already ran through the pre-cleaning step that I just showed you. Since I already cleaned up that other scan, I want to clean up one that hasn't been cleaned yet. So here's our pre-clean scan, and you can see that there's a lot of patchy blacks, a lot of schmutz in the white balloons, a lot of schmutz on the outside, some off-registration. So what we want to do to clean this up is we're going to work with the channels. Okay, now. I'm going to start with the black channel. This is your black channel. Now, let's push these levels up. We want it to look as close to clean line art as we can. So, but we don't want to overdo it with the levels. Look how spotty those are. I mean, if you push it too far to try to fix the spottiness, you make everything blotchy. You don't want to do that. You can only go, let's go there, okay? Now, this is where we use our burn tool. Feel the burn. And I'm going to work with the shadows. Exposure set at 100% and my brush is a hard brush, not an airbrush. You don't want to use an airbrush. You want a hard brush. And then you go in and you burn these areas. Feel the that burn. Be, that you want to have black. This is how you, rather than try to do everything with levels and making the whole thing blotchy, you got to use your tools. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're not going to get them perfect just with this tool. You're going to have to go through and fill them up. Fill in the blacks in a later step. Okay. All right. Now, another thing you want, here's what you don't want to see in your blacks. You don't want to see all this gray crap in the colors. So you take your dodge tool, 
set on a range of highlights and exposure of about 23% works pretty good. And you see how dirty that green is? I'm going to dodge out the black. Now watch. Just dodge that crap out of that black color. Now, well, it looks a lot better. If you have black, gray stuff in your colors, it makes them look dirty. You don't want that. No, you don't want that. Five hours later. All right. So now the black channel is ready. Now what we want to do next is clean up our CMY, cyan, magenta, and yellow channels. And how are we going to do that? Like, for instance, what we're going to do is we want to dodge out. Use our dodge tool. Again, highlights 23% with the hard brush. And we want to dodge out all this crap in the CMY channels. But before we go to town and go crazy dodging it out, I mean, you might say, okay, I'll dodge it out. It looks good, looks great. But if you turn off the black channel, look what you just did. See, you can't just dodge this stuff out like this. You're destroying, destroying it. Here's what you do. You want to make a Photoshop action. I already have one written, but here, I'll write it for you. It's called Clean CMY Channels. And I'll write it again, just to show you how it works. First thing you do is you're in your black channel. You take your magic wand tool, set on tolerance 50 anti-alias. This time turn to uncheck contiguous and select the white area. Now, all your white pixels in the black channel are selected. So here's where you, let's uh, start a new action. New action, clean CMY channels, record. Now, what I want to do, modify, I want to ex contract by one pixel. So I just gave it a one pixel buffer around all these things here. Now, still, I'm still writing my action. I select cyan, magenta, and yellow channels. See? And then... Now I can see everything, but only my cyan, magenta, and yellow channels are selected. Now I'm going to go over and select my dodge tool again. And highlights 23% with the hard brush. Okay, so now I have my brush. So that's the end of my Photoshop action. I'm going to stop recording. So let's review what we just did. So we want to clean up these channels. So. In the black channel, I'm going to select white, and I'm going to play this action. Now, everything's selected, and we have our dodge tool just how you want it. Now all you got to do is hide the selection, and now you can go to town. Now you can go to town and clean up all this crap, all that. Dodge it out, dodge that. Get that schmutz out, make it nice and clean. Eraser tool, dodge tool. Excuse me, dodge tool. Oh, eraser tool to get that off registration. Mm -hmm. Eraser, eraser, eraser. Eraser, dodge tool. Now, right now, we're just concentrating on these wide areas, see? Are we having fun yet? Now we go into what I call the deep clean. Now let's just select the cyan channel. Now we don't want to see any gray schmutz floating around where the cyan doesn't belong. So we're going to, like there, and dodge it out. Can see there's just a little bit of the cyan and we don't want it there because it's what's it doing here uh, like for instance in this yellow you don't want cyan in there dodge it out it should just be yellow cyan channel mm -hmm. get rid of that gray schmush next magenta magenta channel looks Pretty clean. Let's get that magenta out of this green color. Hmm? What was that? Magenta looks pretty clean on this channel, actually. Not a lot to. Yeah, pretty good. 
some stuff here. See that alien is green. It looks better without the... Why is it so ugly? <laughs> so I'm going to dodge that out. See? That's why you don't want the gray crap in your colors. Now let's go to the yellow channel. Sometimes the yellow channel is the dirtiest. Here, I'm not seeing a whole lot of yellow crap floating around. Not at all. Looks pretty good. But when you do the channels individually, then you can really see where the pixels exist. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. Pretty good. I'm going to hit the save. Next up, let's fix these patchy blacks. And how are we going to do that? We're going to set black color to 100%. And I only have the black channel selected here, but I'm viewing all the channels. And with my brush tool, the black is 100%. And I'm just going to go in and touch up all these patchy areas. Make them nice, nice and black. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Doesn't have to be perfect. You get the picture. I'm gonna show you. This one I'll show you. You want solid blacks. You don't want any of this patchy stuff. Five hours later. Alrighty. Okay. So generally it looks pretty good. I, what I like to do is I like to it looks a little bit washed out to me. Sometimes I like to see what auto colors does. Usually it makes it pushes it too much. But I'm gonna bring the cyan back. Bring the yellow, bring that, that. Does this look better? Yeah, bring the yellow, pull the yellow back a bit. Does that look better? Yeah, I think that looks better. You don't want to go too far. All right, now the last step, well, not really the last step, but let's go panel by panel and make sure there's nothing wrong. Anything else we got to fix here? Can fix them. Off registration by using our clone tool with the CMY channels. Let's just clone that. Mm. Mm, let's clone that with that spot. And what about this? Look at that. I'm just going to use my paintbrush and the yellow and fill that in. Five hours later. All right, now that's pretty good, pretty good. Wow. Most part, this is done, okay? Could spend a whole lot more time on it if you want to, but for the process of this video, we're done for now.